hour number one, we had Jake Tapper here from CNN. And as you know, he's the uh, number one diehard Christmas movie truther. Uh, I believe it is not a Christmas movie and was very pleased to um, see uh, on Twitter uh, over the weekend that the Bruce Willis roast that went down on Comedy Central or was recorded by Comedy Central, soon to be aired on Comedy Central, finished up with a joke from Bruce Willis saying that uh, Die Hard is not a Christmas movie. And uh, we have now on the phone line, uh, I believe the individual who, is this true, wrote the joke for him? Sarah Tiana here on The Rich Eisen Show. How are you, Sarah? Uh, I'm I'm great. How are you guys? Well, we're <laughs> thrilled to have you. Let's put it that way. <laughs> um, so, Sarah, uh, was this provided to Bruce Willis by you to say? Yes, it was provided by me. It was actually, we. Uh, there were like four of us in the room that were writing his script and... Uh, uh, I have to say that, like, when I just, like, threw that out there at the end, like, let's just say, like, he's here for one reason and one reason only, and let's just say that Die Hard is not a Christmas movie. Uh, there was, everybody just laughed, and there was no protest. Like, it just went in the script, and it was, like, one of the only jokes that stayed for, like, two weeks. <laughs> okay. Like, nobody even uh, fought us on it. We oh. all just were like, yeah, that's great. Okay. So now... Um... <laughs> Where do I go with this one, Sarah? Um, did did Bruce? What was Bruce's reaction when it, this joke was presented to him to say to finish it up? Uh, he had no reaction. He was just like, "That's great." So does that mean he agrees that Die Hard is not a Christmas movie? Would you say? Would you read into that yeah. assessment? Uh, yes. I mean, I mean, with that same assess assessment, you'd have to say he agrees with all of the jokes that he said. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I think, uh, yeah, I think Bruce is. Um, uh, okay. <laughs> how do I put this? Well, Sarah, uh, he's Sarah, agreeable. Okay, no, I'd say he's agreeable, and obviously, I would place uh, my uh, stand-up comedy uh, moment at a podium in your more than capable hands. I would definitely do that. Uh, but based on you as a top-notch comedian, top-notch comedy writer, would you not agree the best roast jokes are formed with a germ of truth at the very center of them? Oh, absolutely. That's why the joke worked is because there are so many truthers out there. So the joke works because we, we know that it's a debate. And even though it's a ridiculous debate, it would be really funny if Bruce Willis just squashed the debate. Now, why would why why is the debate ridiculous, Sarah? When clearly there's only <laughs> one side of this debate, and that it is not a Christmas movie. I agree, you know, and I feel like uh, you know I live in a house with a man who um, <laughs> uh, disagrees. Uh, with that, and that's only because mm. he uh, wants to be a bro at Christmas and uh, not watch girly movies, and uh, that's on him. That's not really on me. You can't change the story of a movie just because it fits your ideology. But you can't change the facts of the movie, which Jake so perfectly laid out in hour one. Mm. First of all, what kind of movie, what kind of actual office throws the party on Christmas Eve for their employees. That makes no sense whatsoever. So it's not even based in reality. And if you change the holiday to just like a kid's birthday, the movie works exactly the same. You can't do that with a real Christmas movie. You can't take Christmas out of the equation. God bless Sarah. Sarah Tiana. But that's what happened. And, and now you're just attacking the integrity of Mr. Nakatomi. Rest his soul. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so okay, okay. I, you're not going to guilt yeah, Sarah. Absolutely, Tiana. I'm yeah. questioning Mr. Nakatomi. I'm questioning everything in that movie. You know, Bruce also tells a really funny story, which was that on day one of shooting, they made him jump off a two-story building onto like a giant air mattress, and the uh, the director he was like, "Why would you have me do this on the first day?" And the director was like. Oh, because if something happened to you, I could just replace you with another Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sarah, I appreciate you uh, adding the sanity and the clarity that you have provided. Thank You're you. Welcome. Thank you. Okay, there's Sarah Tiana, everybody. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.